Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Mike with Mike's Car Haul. Ignore that noise real quick. I'm in my brother's Volvo. It's a 2011 S80, I believe. He's got a light on the dash. Let's see if I can see it here. It says my door is still open. Maybe I gotta shut that. Bulb failure, position lamp. So I was able to track that bulb down. I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. I was just trying to show you that. Um, I'm gonna show you, show you how to replace that bulb. This Volvo stuff is awesome. Pull the key out. That. All right, so start at the very beginning. Pop the hood. Hood pops here. Take these off. Come to the front. This took me a second to figure out, so I'll pull it up. And the hood, it's more towards the driver's side. There's this little, I, can, I can't tell if I can see it, but it's right here. You can hear it. That's how you get the hood up. And I'm gonna hand the camera off now, but this is the headlight we're gonna take off um, to replace the bulb. So, so this is a pretty cool design that they did. Just pull this tab, pull it all the way up, and set it aside. Same thing over here. Now the headlight's gonna be free. Just pull it out of the car, be careful. And then you have one plug here. And I'll struggle with it, of course. Okay, unplug it. So on this, the bulb that is bad is in this little cup right here. So you're gonna pull this tab, and it'll come out. There's three little catches right here. One, two, three. They line up in there. And that little catch right here, if you can see it, it's right there. So there's two bulbs over here, so if you have this isn't the one we had to replace. It's this one back in here. Um, you just tap it. The screen just goes black. And, you know. <laughs> so this is the bulb. I already took it out, um, but this is the bulb that we have to replace. Let me go grab the replacement real quick. In the back seat. So the bulb type is a 2821. Um, and it's just one of these little one of these little guys. Same same bulbs I replaced pretty much on the whole back of the Volkswagen. So you'll click it in. And then you'll push it back into place and you should hear a click. You didn't hear a click, but it's supposed to click. But it's in it's in position. Like I said before, three three little stars there or three little dots line them up in the correct spot push that tab you'll definitely hear this click and put it back together also if you had to replace any of the other bulbs in this car it's this access point here so you would pull this this here push these down and you'd get access to the other bulbs there's bulb here there's a small bulb just like that one, another bulb here. So if you needed to replace those, this one didn't need those ones, just, just that one that I just showed you. So, and then putting it back on, it's the exact same. All clicked back together, put it back in the car. Just a quick, you should hear this click too. Click. Uh, what I will say is there's a couple of spots on this when it goes back in the car that helps seat it. There's a little tab right here, and it goes, it lines up to that. And I believe there's another one somewhere else too that just kind of lines it up. But as long as you go slow, put it in, you'll get it positioned correct. <clears throat> back where it's supposed to go. I didn't quite hit it on this side. There you go position back in the right spot and then if you can look you might be able to see down in here these can only go in one way so you just slide it in and I'll lock that side in slide this one in lock it in now we can go back in the car it should it should automatically reset but 
don't have a sound on that, so let's see. I'll just roll the window down so you can have it. Please. Oh, we have to shut the hood. Yep, it's gone now. Also, check him out. He's got a full tank of gas. He's got he's got that big money. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do on this car, he needs some wiper blades as well. Um, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna pause while I set all that up. All right. So we got the new wiper blade here. This is a Rain X. Um, we have to take this adapter off. So pop that one off. That one's not the application for this particular car. Gonna take it back on. Okay, that one's good to go. And I'll show you how to take the old ones off. The setup on here is a little different from the old wiper to the new one. So I'll show you. So the old one, there's a little button here. So you're gonna push that button down. And this one you're gonna pull towards the passenger side of the car, comes off. So that one's, that one's off. The new one goes on a little different. There's a tab here, don't try to put the tab there. You're going to set this in here. There's like a sweet spot. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. So you're gonna seat it as good as you can. And it came with this other piece right here that is gonna lock that into place. And I had to force it a little bit. Yeah. It's good I could bring a screwdriver. Should hear a click. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong. You have to push the wiper on the arm towards you and then push this cap in. So it's a push and pull method here. School bus. All right, let's see, almost there. Okay, should be locked up. Nope, not locked in. Of course I'm struggling. Oh no, it's on. It is not on. <laughs> okay, there it goes. I definitely heard it click that time. So now we're stuck on. And the other thing I've done in the past, when you buy some of these nicer wiper arms, they come with this protective sleeve over it. Um, so go ahead and take that off. Now this wiper is good to go on the car. It's not coming off. Um, it's installed. Yeah, I did a trip one time and got stuck in like a monsoon and my stupid ass left these on and it doesn't work that way. Try the other side and see if I'm struggling as much over here. Okay, hold on, we got same idea on that. Find that sweet spot. I'm gonna pull towards the driver's side of the car. And see if I get this cap on. Not even close. Oh wait, no, I gotta push the other way. There we go. Oh, it's on. All right, so that one's good. Same thing, take the sleeve, that one's on. So it's a little different. Um, like when I did the Evo and all the other ones, they have the J-hook connections on them. So some cars have different setups and when you buy them, a lot of times they come with different adapters. So um, you just figure out the one that's appropriate to your car.